Okay, welcome back. So in part two here, now we're going to do subassembly three. We're going to bring in our passenger section, our T9 two block socket, our T9 one block socket, okay, and our T9 passenger base. And for extra credit, if you bring in your two automa blocks people that you made, okay, if you show me in class, I'll give you a little extra bonus uh, hall pass there. Okay, so let's go ahead and assemble, all right, our passenger section here. So let's go over here to uh, new, standard, okay, and we're going to place our files again. So we want our passenger base, our passenger section, um, our two block socket and our one block socket. And then our windshield, I believe, was everything. Okay, go ahead and hit open. Okay, and then hit escape. All right, and let's start piecing things together here. Okay. Now I'm going to ground this so it doesn't move, and we're going to kind of work around that. All right, so the first thing I want to put in here is my. Uh, my passenger base here to put my people in here. All right, so what I'm going to do is first thing, let's make sure it's orientated right. Uh, let's just constrain that face to that face, hit, hit apply. And I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel because I'm going to move it around a little bit. And then I'm going to do another face here, mate constraint with this face and that face hit apply cancel and I'm gonna move it up because I want to do one more constraint here and I gotta zoom in to get this little tiny edge here right there to that edge to you probably guessed it the bottom okay go ahead and hit apply and cancel all right, so looking good. Okay, now be careful here because now we're going to put in our one block socket and the one block socket goes in the front. So I'm going to spin around here. Make sure you know which way is the front and back. So our one block socket is going to go right here in the front. I'm going to zoom in. Let's go ahead and do some constraints. Okay, so I'm going to hit this constraint. Let's go with this face and that face. Then, let's move it around. Let's go with that face and that face. And then we're going to do a, a flush. Let's go with this one and that one and so now you know you can see that it's not perfectly aligned so what you can do is to come in and kinda edit them Okay, let's put that other connector piece in. So let's um, constrain face here, that bottom face to that bottom face, hit apply. And let's do this side face to that side face, hit apply. And then let's do a flush, that one to that one, hit apply. And once again, little off center we can fix that with going in here and editing our constraints our offset okay looks
looks pretty good. And the last thing we got to do is our windshield. Okay, so just a reminder, if you put your automobile blocks got people in there, the two male and the females that you created in unit five, and you show me, I'll give you a little uh, extra hall pass, extra credit, okay? But I'm gonna skip that, and I'm going to go ahead and constrain our windshield here. Let's do that little rib or nub feature to that side. Now I'm going to bring this out so I can see a little better here. So let's constrain this last feature here, that little rib part right there, to this face. Hit apply, cancel. Okay. And one thing that I don't like about it is this kind of hangs off the edge. So I'm going to come into the constraint I just made and I'm going to edit the offset. And we want to make a negative one here. go a little more and there we go okay and there is our sub assembly three okay thanks for watching